Hello? This is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm, t nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp, as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers and hide it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit up the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, oh. you are not cognificent of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Oh, oh. my dear Miss Faye, I'm so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. <laughs> September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Faye and Cole Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we could all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Blood! This one's there. Chief! 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 Who are you? Dropped out cold. I'll let her lying on the office sofa. Went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Take a look around. It's a crust of dry blood. Can't run. Th 
this became the murder one. Again. Shards of glass are scattered on the floor. This seems to be the remains of a glass light stand. Chief's chair. A simple functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. neat handwriting. Small office, but it's a good bit of money. It makes a good bit, bit of money. Right, I better call the police. Huh? That's funny. I feel the screws from the receiver are missing. What's that someone was halfway through taking it apart? Police! Please, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. Staring right at, at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. This large building across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. I still think she has never got machines. About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model some garage sale for practically nothing. Pretty sure that's all we're going to see that's relevant here. Uh, I forgot just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh. I hope she's, he didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya! Maya Faye! Maya Faye? Sister, and you were here visiting this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it, it was that clock. It was the thinker. shards and near the chief's body. Must be because his of the glass light stand broken, uh, flame broken in the back of the room. Nothing else seems like a clue here. Where did that note come from? What was that been there? Hmm? A piece of paper? It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? This just kind of appeared. Paper. My, did Mia write this? A piece of paper is a receipt from an apartment store dated yesterday. Wait a second, Maya. Was Mia trying to tell us something about that girl? I think I better show her this receipt. I thought that would be used for evidence like this outside the courtroom. I 
think that's enough snooping around for now. I to call the police. Find out what that girl was doing here. Well, I don't think we have to worry about the police, because there's kind of there was kind of a woman screaming about it. So we're just going to go straight to the law. And present her with the receipt. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote on the back of this receipt. That's my name! Why? Why would you write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would Sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. <gasps> the police! Sis, they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumsh, I'm saved. Gumsh? Why not? We received our report on from in the building across the way, see. Got a person saying they witnessed a man. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you to move on the one inch, okay? Great, just great. My wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! <coughs> this won't Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that. That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With a dire breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, man! What? Maya's young Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m. Detention Center of Visitors Room. Wow, damn. Poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! It's you, the lawyer. Good, good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Oh. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um... Let's... Let's be neutral here. Better give it to a stream. It's up to you. Uh, to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office. Looked at me like I'd done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no! I never thought... It's okay. I understand. I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner. It was the first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> So he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those straight fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to who if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said! Sorry! I didn't mean to insult you! No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. Why well, think of the person who did this to me? I know. So let's talk about you! There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? Wasn't that outfit? Oh, this? 
This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you can see. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh! It's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. That's a spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Well, we can't just ignore that. So you're an acolyte. A, or medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait! What? So you're a real, honest to goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes! In training! Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We can just ask who, her who killed her. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, the clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case. Um, right. She said it was something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Uh, her own voice? Yes! I pretty sure our conversation's on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh! I just remembered that Detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. My memo enters the court record, and let's immediately misplace it. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um. I was wondering, can I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Alright. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! And no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you, the trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What, this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. I'm visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Alright, I'll be back. And for some reason, the day of the crime again? Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing for the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on onto a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thicker plot that Larry made. Practically qualifies as a zero murderer by now. So then, where did you or when did you arrive at the office? It was around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Alright, um let's examine this. to ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis. <laughs> hmm. not ask her about this now. 
what about the glass shards? This is when this the chief's body. I saw that too. They said they thought they saw pieces of a broken light stand. Yeah, that seems about right. I've never heard of a glass light stand before this. Remember that receipt? You mean the one with my name on it? Any idea why she... Absolutely none! Um, do you trust me? Mm, I'm gonna be nice. I trust you. Why? Don't you, don't you think I did it too? No, I don't. It's just a hunch, but... That detective thinks I did it. Um, I guess we'll go to Grossberg Law Offices. September 6th, Grossberg, I believe that's Grossberg. Anyway, Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. Guess I'll just have to come back later. I guess I could look around first. The painting's been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm not sure I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. I saw a mahogany desk. What's a posture? Deep luster. A table for clients. Hmm. Elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, the lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell. Well, someone here's got money to burn. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm. Fuck, they don't look like they've ever been read. September 6th, Fanko Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal! No trespassing! Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were Detective Gumshoe, I believe. Um, Detective, um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? D Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sir. But be right there! Um, ahem. <clears throat> you're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Ooh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Well, first things first. Give me your cell phone. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. Trick your lawyer! Oh, he's on to me. Let's go not so straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. What should I tell him? Something no matter? Oh, no, um... That carrier strap on the cell phone. Yes? Hmm. It says, The Steel Samurai Warrior Neo on Tokyo. The Steel Samurai, that I should hero on TV? Yeah, you see, that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That what you said? Um, yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. There you go. Since he didn't notice the recorded conversation. To the court records, he is a recorded conversation. Which I am not going to do because I have already gone over. 
Actually, I think I had to. Because... Uh, it was relevant to the plot. Oh, cool. We can just, uh... Look at it right here at the bottom screen, right there on the right. Alright, so... Now, I guess we'll go to... Back to the crossroad offices? Oh, wait, I need to talk to, uh... Go to all that. Yep. About Miss Fade, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? <clears throat> you want to know the results, eh? <sighs> now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. Thank you, let's take a look. Single blunt force trauma, instantaneous death at 9 p.m. Do I have anything indicating that Maya may not have been in the office at 9? No, matter of fact, I have something indicating these are the opposite. Because, as I recall, that because that conversation mentioned her being there at around nine. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer at all. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait! One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I've completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already, then? Aha! You're trying your loyalty tricks on me now! She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. And we can talk about Edgeworth as well. So let's do that first. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? I do? Because I've played this before, but, um, for the sake of this, let's say I don't. Let's pretend I don't. Never heard of him. Whoa! And you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edward guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who will do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Ah, uh, let's... Okay, I guess let's go to the... I guess let's check the Grossberg Law Offices. Nothing. Alright. Gatewater Hotel, here we come. September 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Whoa! Hello there, Hansel! Um, hi. It's smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> And myself, and Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. 
gee, this is like, like all out of, like something, all like something out of a movie. It's so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go first. I'm talking with the front of the beautiful eyewitness. I'm putting on the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. So, right away, I notice that thing on the left, but I just remembered something, so I'm going to check the source. A bottle of two glasses on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Late summer sunlight streams through the window. This vain coat loves this building, of course. You can see inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize the face of this distance, though. Ah, still seen painting. Wait, should it be still alive? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. Flowers are fake as expected. I know sunflowers are tools, but that's the about the extent of my floral knowledge. stuck in this drawer. Wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touching! Oh, bad boy! You really should pray around in other people's rooms, you know? You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what you could, she could be hiding in that drawer. There are two glasses on the table. Did someone stay here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation! You must be one of the most famous detectives like on television! Oh, no, not me. I'm er, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you look for clues in the garbage? Mr. Big doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, could you just. Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No! Hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um... <laughs> right, can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no! <laughs> you had your problems, didn't you? Oh, You could tell me something. I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, a term! Incident! So just like a lawyer in the movies! I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, oh, better not encourage her. Or, you know that thing that occur or happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you can tell me about it. Pretty please? To know you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. This bitch here is asking for it. And by it, I mean a fresh, hot serving of justice. Is Crossbar getting yet? Hmm. Seems like Mr. Crossbar is out. Oh, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> That wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Um, yes, that's me. It's even grander than I imagined. I'm on your call. Ah, Yes, well, yes. I'm busy. How come I'll get in touch with you? Oh, I don't know. I'm only one of the most things you're not. Oh, I am. I'm. Well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Fay. Oh, I'm afraid. No one. What a strange reaction. I'm really afraid. I can't. I'm taking it. 
No, it's quite a... Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Anyway... What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Let's talk about Mia. How did you know Mia Fig? Oh, I think I was supposed to talk about the other thing first. Uh, mission? How can you just refuse like that? Please, d tell me why you won't take the case. Oh, oh, such a blessy, really, you say? But the client is Mia Fey's sister. <coughs> Mia trusts you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. I know. Oh! Sorry. Why? Cree. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Huh? Did you say something? What do you mean? Why? Why? I cannot. I got far from the community. No! Nothing much to discuss with you. What's going on here? Let's talk about the. Hold on, let's talk about your painting before I leave. That's quite a painting. Aha! You're not! My father died! Reverse it! Oh! Reverse it! Look how the look on! I hear what I see! Now you don't look so hot! I will have that door to the cost. I won't sell it. I'll leave it to you. I wasn't interested. I'm not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Let's go to let's go to break the news to Maya. September 6, 3.42 p.m. Detention Center Fisters Room. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He... didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? I see. You've been abandoned then. Hold on. Sorry, I've never seen that before. Fine, let's talk about your family to cheer you up. Try to, anyway. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. I don't know where my mother is. I don't know. So she could still be alive? for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. It was a man and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced that she would become a lawyer and let them out. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I got used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose what my powers. I feel bad for all that yourself up on that mountain. So, who 
was this man who, um, ruined your mother. About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads. They, they were getting desperate. Wait. They didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The, the case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <gasps> the police's consultation of a medium had been carried out, all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before... Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Give me one moment. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Hell no! I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. <gasps> Why? Why? Well... Uh, I'm gonna be... I can't abandon you. No one is the saddest a person without any friends. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you! <laughs> well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you! She smiled and left. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? So when I tried to look into the drawer, she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Um, let's present her with a cell phone. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, let's see. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Give me one more. Thank you. Oh, I made the music all sad. Um. Here's my badge. Sorry, I've never seen that before. Autopsy report? Okay. That's just the generic you didn't present anything that she knows about. Um, I guess I will go to the hotel again? Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Well, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest, Miss May, is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait! No! Hey! 
Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Uh, I almost forgot. Gah! You came back quick. But I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Cop phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White, Blue Cop? Where do I have that name? White! That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could be a coincidence. Okay, real quick, I just thought I saw my microphone blinking. I was really scared because I had muted it due to a dog barking, which I will try to cut out in the editing, but uh, something happened whilst I was talking, so I have to do my bet. Just got to do my best there. Anyway, let's go ahead and examine this. Uh, the screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. That's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would like her be doing with a thing like this? Why did I have the court record? There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all of this, I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Oh, wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, Bellboy! Still there? Uh oh, time to scram. Before you tango with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. And now it to be continued. Okay. Well, that's it for this installment of Venus, right?